get for tea. Just like a mom. I'm in y'all ride I got a machine turned to a poodle. Back in the days, you did eat social shrew. I got a lesson, you still use a Google. Google. If you ain't gang, use a microwave. Use a microwave. I'm a big dog, put me in the cage. cage. I'm pink, just like some lemonade. lemonade. You yo, I'm beige. What, what you, you gotta, gotta say? say? I like food, but I listen to hip hop. You like me so much that she wear my what is good my young ramen noodles it's your boy noodle too spicy and we back again with another video listen y'all today i'm gonna talk about another subject and i know you guys are wondering what subject he finna talk about today well today i'm gonna be talking about society so before i get into the rest of the video i just want to let some of you guys know if you are going to be offended by these type of subjects then I would advise you to click off this video because this is not for you. I don't want to offend anybody whatsoever, but I just got to say what I got to say in this video. So with all that being said, and without further ado, if you are new to this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. I'm noodle too spicy. If you want more videos like this, make sure you hit that sub button and that post notification so you can know every time I post, man. It's simple. We just going to get into it. And let's get it. And one more thing I got to say. I know I have a default skin. Do not make fun of me. Please do not make fun of me in the comment section. But however, if you do have an extra skin and you play Fortnite and you're watching this video right now, I will put my gamer tag in the comment section below. So if you want to send me an extra skin that you don't want on your account, Please feel free to do so. My gamer tag will be in the comment section, man. Simple. Now that we got all that out the way, I want to get into one more thing before we start playing and we start getting to the subject about society. Let's get it. This is one more thing I have to talk about before I get into the rest of this video. Let me go to the item shop real quick. That skin right there, I want that. So if you guys have this skin, please feel free to send it to me because I love this skin so much. So if you guys are watching this video and you have the skin and you don't want it, please feel free to send it to me. Like I said, my gamer tag will be in the comment section below. So make sure you check the comment section. I really love that skin so much. It's basically like the girl version of Beast Boy. And that Beast Boy skin I showed you guys last time in my recent video of me playing Fortnite. I really want that skin too. But that skin is outdated because they come out with more skins every month or every two weeks i really don't know but we're just gonna get into the subject about society let's get it man so let's start off with the females because ladies always come first so let me get this straight you're really trying to tell me if a girl is too fat she cannot be accepted and if a girl is too skinny she cannot be accepted like huh that doesn't make any sense you don't want a girl that's fat but you don't want a girl that's skinny like us guys, we really need to figure out what our type is. We really don't know what type we have. As far as I, Noodle Too Spicy goes, I really don't have a type or a preference on how your body should be because that doesn't concern me at the end of the day. It's really about how you act and how you treat me. If you're a big girl and you give me slim thick girl vibes, then I'm gonna go for you. But if you're a slim thick girl or a skinny girl, however, and you constantly get an attitude all the time and you think you're better and prettier, to all the other girls and you just think you better than everybody and you constantly mean bug people all the time then i would not go for you and i'm not trying to bring race into it or anything but society definitely has standards about how black girls bodies should be too and i'm gonna talk about that because it needs to be talked about now first off what i want to start by saying is to all my black girls who are watching this i love all y'all whether you white skin brown skin dark skin i love all you guys but it's this thing that i gotta point out that is not fair about y'all to society and I really got to talk about it. So you're telling me if a white girl is skinny, oh, she the prettiest girl in the world. She's a model. But if a black girl is skinny, she looks malnourished. Oh, she's homeless. Oh, no one wants to feed her. Oh, she goes through neglection at home. I never heard nothing about nobody saying a white girl looks malnourished and looks like she goes through neglect at home. Well, all that lays back off the of history, but I'm gonna talk about that in another video because I know y'all adults probably already in the comment section like, he's too young to be speaking on this. Oh, he only 14. Oh, he just a kid. He should just play outside and play with his toys and enjoy life instead of talk about the world's problems and society's problems. Well, I just wanna let you guys know, if you're a grown up and you comment that under my videos of me getting stuff off my chest about the world's problems, I just want to let you guys know, I don't care what no one has to say about me and what anyone has to say about my facts because 
It's facts over feelings. And if you don't like it, do not watch my videos because I don't care what no one has to say about me. I'm going to get something off my chest that needs to be off my chest because I'm talking about what needs to be talked about. And for all the black women in the comment section saying that too, I just want to let you guys know I'm trying to help y'all out. I'm noticing y'all problems. And me, I'm a dark skinned man myself. So, you know what I'm saying? I got to talk about my dark skinned females problems. And we're going to talk about that next. And I'm about to ask y'all a question that y'all aren't ready for. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? All right. Why do you have to be light skinned to be pretty or handsome? Like, that's a big problem that we have in the black community that no one's talking about. Like, why do we seem to badge a certain black person with a certain skin tone? And is it just me? Or do all I see black men with is light-skinned girls? And if not, they're with a white girl. And for all the black men who are watching this video that is currently dating the light skin, I just want to let you guys know, you guys are missing out on that melanin. And another thing, why do some of us black men like to kill each other and then proceed to say F the police? Like, that don't add up. It seems like 1 plus 1 is 55 in this situation. And for all the black women, why do y'all get jealous of one another because this person is dark-skinned or this person is light-skinned? And why do y'all say y'all hate black men and all black men are colorists when y'all haven't talked to a single black man in history? Like y'all just going off what y'all see on social media. And that's also what us black people need to work on. We need to work on staying off of social media more often. Because social media is really not good for anybody. I'm going to keep it hot. And it's definitely not good for us black people. Because that's where us black men get killing each other from. We start beefing on the internet. And then next thing you know someone's dead and for some of the ignorant white people who think they can just call me the n-word whenever they want to you know what i'm gonna do nothing because to be straight up with you i'm the best n-word you've seen in your life i got talent unlike you i got melanin unlike you i know how to play sports unlike you like come on now you really think i'm gonna beat you up because you call me the n-word i don't get offended by that i'm the best n-word you've seen in your life so for all my ignorant white people i'm not gonna do nothing but do not call the wrong black person the n-word because you will get beat up trust and believe me on this it's best to keep that word to yourself and just not say it at and all for all the black people if a white person calls you the n-word don't even try to waste your time and energy explaining why they shouldn't say that word because all that's gonna do is make you mad but however if they call you the n-word in front of your face then that's when you go upside their head give them a reason to call the police because this is not modern day slavery all right, now that we got all that out the way about the females, let's talk about the men's problems. But before I talk about us men's problems, if you're a female and you're watching this video and you felt that I missed something, feel free to comment down below and let me know what I've missed and I'll talk about it in my next video. But with all that being said, let's talk about men's problems. Hmm, where should I start? Oh, let's talk about the emotions that we have to avoid. So let me get this straight. Apparently, if you're a man and you have problems and you're struggling in life, you have to avoid your emotions and man up and not talk about your problems because apparently society does not care. Society only seems to care about the female's problems. Like if a female was to talk about her struggles and all her problems and she was to show emotions, everybody would feel bad for her and she would be the victim. This is why the suicide rate of men is higher than women's. Because we were told to man up and crying is for girls when we were little boys. So we take that and run with it and we bottle in our emotions as we get older. And then guess what? We either explode on someone else and hurt them. Or we explode on ourselves and kill ourselves or hurt ourselves. And for all the females who are watching this and you actually like a man who is vulnerable and shows his emotion. I support you. You're a real OG. You're a real one and you're a strong woman. But we were constantly told when we were little boys by our own sex that women do not like men who cry. This is why I haven't cried ever since I was a little boy up to now. And another thing, why do some of you females like tall guys? Like not one female has gave me a valid answer to why they like tall guys and they don't prefer short guys. Like me? I'm average height considering I'm only 14. I'm 5'6", and if you don't think 5'6 is average, 
and it's short for my age, then go do your research on it because it literally says on Google that 5'6 is the average height a 14 year old can be. But that's not the point. The point is that some of y'all females be four foot tall and expect a seven foot 11 guy. Then y'all tell the short dudes that they need to grow like they can control their height. Like I cannot control my height, neither can the other guys out there. This is why I will only go for girls who are five foot or shorter. Now, if I hit a growth spurt, which I probably will, and become over six feet tall, then I'm gonna change my mind. But for all my tall guys, I just wanna say y'all have nothing to complain about because y'all can attract every girl y'all can think of. And for all my tall girls, for any supplements that you are taking by any means that is making you become five foot 11 or taller, please let me know about it because I'm trying to add some height to myself, okay? Because getting called short can definitely get pretty old, even though I'm the average height, but people still proceed to call me short. But you know what I say? I'm average height, but okay. And another thing I gotta say to some of my females. If a guy is taller than you by six or seven inches, whether he's five six or five seven, or whatever the case may be, do not call him short. I repeat, do not call him short. All right, now that I got all that out the way, this is the last thing I gotta say and I gotta ask before I dip. Some of y'all females not ready for this question neither, but I'ma ask it anyway. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Okay. Why do we not value men's sexual assaults and men's R-A-P-E? If you know what I mean. Like I said, society only seems to value females' problems and not men's problems. If you're a man and you get sexually assaulted, people will tell you something like, Oh, you deserved it. Oh, you should have took it. You should have took it as the girl having a crush on you and the girl flirting with you. But a female who hasn't even experienced that yet and she tells the cops that she got sexually assaulted by a specific man, that man would go to jail. But a female who has experienced it, however, the feminist community will feel bad for her and then start this movement called Kill All Men. Then they'll be slick by saying, not all men. I'm gonna give some of you females that are watching this some time to pause and look at the definition of all. And that's all I gotta say. But one more thing before I end this video. If you're a male or a female watching this, I just wanna let all of you guys know that if you're struggling with anything, all of you guys' problems matter in my opinion, whether you're a male or a female. But apparently society doesn't rock that way, but that's just the way the world is. We gotta learn to love it, and we just gotta learn to live in it because that's the way the world is. But until some of us humans make a change, the world won't be like that eventually. But yeah, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, welcome like i said my name is noodle too spicy make sure you hit that sub button and if you want more videos like this make sure you hit that post notification bell so you can know every time i post simple y'all i'm noodle too spicy and i'm out Peace. I went to the school, I was up in the dirt Talking bad about the game, that's the stuff you true merch When I was in class, all I did was rehearse With my squad in the race, we be finishing first I remember the